Hi everybody, this is Carla from DIY Happy Home coming to you from Pennsylvania on a Friday. I wanted to do a quick Dollar Tree haul and another small bonus grocery outlet haul. I've had some of these items for a little bit. This is, this is from two uh, trips to the Dollar Tree uh, and some things are back to school items, so they probably have <laughs> they probably have a whole different selection. But it's actually the same Dollar Tree I went to. I just didn't have a chance to do a video to show you guys. But first of all, I did get this adorable Happy Halloween sign. I love uh, vintage things, so I like how uh, the black cat looks a little vintage, uh, as does the cute little jack o' lantern. And I thought that was really adorable. Um, they had, did have a bunch of different signs for Halloween, but I thought it was so cute. And then uh, this little, it's like a little shadow box. It has a uh, light on the bottom with a tab where you pull out for the battery. They had a couple different ones, but I thought the boo with the little uh, spider web and the mama and baby ghost uh, are adorable. I thought it was so cute. Um, and they had, I think they had one that said Happy Halloween. Uh, in orange and black, something along those lines. Um, but I did get some, uh, I was able to get some hand sanitizer, packs of two, and uh, also some hydrocortisone cream for my medicine cabinet with kids. Like I figured with, you never know, bug bites, things like that. Um, I did get 24 packs of uh, crayons, Crayola brand. However, after, oops, after I went, I, I realized that um, Target had a much better deal, 50 cents, um, but I did get three packs of the crayons. And then um, I love these for my boys, uh, Firefly, the toothbrushes. For a dollar, you can't beat it, because and like if you go to Giant or you know um, some of the other places, maybe CVS, things like that, uh, it comes with the kids' toothpaste. It would, I think it would be um, a lot more money unless you get a great sale or have coupons. But it also comes with a little cover for the toothbrush. And they had, mine had Transformers and Spider-Man. Um, and then I did get some Colgate toothpaste, some fine uh, Himalayan pink sea salt, which I love. I use that all the time. Um, I got two non-slip shelf liners. And I'm gonna move this over here. Um, I got this caddy for some of our homeschooling things. Uh, I feel like we have an abundance of, we go through a lot of crayons and uh, color pencils, things like that. So I wanted a way to organize them a little bit better. I do have a caddy over here for crayons, but uh, I wanted something for markers and color pencils, things like that. So um, I did get some, some placards for my kids to floss with and two packs of pens, different ones. Um, these are the clip clicks, and then these have actual caps. And uh, another sign, this one for my daughter. It's got cute little pom-poms hanging down, and it says dream big, and it's kind of shimmery. Little stars are on the clouds. And then the pom-poms I thought were so cute. And I've never seen these before. It doesn't mean they haven't existed, but I haven't really been out shopping too much in the stores lately because of COVID, but they had this gold basket. I did just get one, but uh, I think it's really neat that it's already gold because a lot of times you might spray paint things gold and you don't have to do anything. Uh, it's pretty much ready to roll. You could even use this to hold a faux plant or uh, a real plant, uh, make it a little bit more decorative for your home. And I did get um, some Premier Protein. This is the caramel. I thought this would, I was gonna try to put it in coffee. Um, I think it might make it tasty like coffee creamer and it's got protein, so I thought that would be good. And I used this extra gum to bribe my children. <laughs> So, so I got uh, the watermelon. I didn't see the bubble gum flavor, but I would have got that too. They probably have, sometimes I have seen it there, but it comes with how many, I think it's three, oh, four, four packs in there. And um, 
my kids love it. And I got some of the Wilder's Light. Th these are sugar-free and it's strawberry lemonade flavored. And you just add it to your bottled water. And uh, speaking of back to school, I got some cute rainbow post-it notes and uh, some sticky notes. My daughter loves to do art. Uh, but the downside is she uses everything she can find. And my son now is starting to draw comics and comic books. He's six years old, but he could find a scrap of piece of paper and feel motivated. And it might be something that I need and he just draws on it. So um, I thought the sticky notes would be good. Mine all disappeared because they kind of grabbed, grabbed them and used them whenever they saw them. So um, mom needs sticky notes. Um, here's a, a gather sign. Uh, I thought that was really cute. I don't know. I might, I might get some bronze spray paint and spray paint it bronze, but I really do. I like it's rather large uh, in size. I think it might be around maybe 12 or 14 inches. So it's kind of like that. It's not cork, but it's a wood like pulp, I guess you would call it. I don't know. Um, Transformers, my boys love Transformers, so uh, stickers, I thought it would be good to occupy them. And this is not for my daughter, this is for me. I am a total 80s, like, rainbow. I love rainbows, child, so I had to have it with the smiley face. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna use it for my homeschooling to keep some papers in order. I totally need help organizing papers. I'm horrible at it, so. Um, maybe that'll help me. We'll, we'll see. Um, and then I did get this free spirit notebook for me or my daughter. And then a composition book. Adorable. Look how cute. Roller skates. I mean, 80s. Yes. Yes. That's all I could say is I love it. Little ice creams. Let's look at this closer. Little like multicolored diamonds. Be kind. Sweet. Yay. Cactus, girl vibes. Oh, it's just, they come up with cute stuff. So three spiral notebooks because again, all my stuff disappeared and then school started and I couldn't even find a single piece of paper because these kids, I, I, I had tons of construction paper. I had to order some online uh, construction paper because the kids used it all. I was like, what did you do with it? I mean, it's, it was gone, so. Um, I didn't see any construction paper at the Dollar Tree. School had already started and I was kind of like behind getting my supplies. Um, so, oh, another one. Glitter, glitter crayons, eight count. Some elastics for my hair or my daughter's hair. I like these, this one's like a braided. Neutral colors. Cupcake liners that for some reason my daughter felt the need to open. I don't, I didn't make cupcakes, but she opened them. And I got some coffee filters. Uh, even though I have a Keurig, I'm thinking of doing a craft with them. And uh, this awesome yarn. Close, can you see? Awesome. That'll be great for a craft. Uh, Vaseline rosy lips, a, a dollar. I love the Dollar Tree. Oh, metallic crayons, great, love. All these new type, they have like pearl ones. I think I did get the pearl ones too, eight count, but my daughter took them. And then pencil, why pay more for uh, makeup or pencil cases? This one I believe is a makeup one because it's a little bit shorter. But I love the hearts with rainbows again. That's the 80s child in me, love it. But you know, a dollar, then we've got uh, pencil cases for my kids. Uh, my my son already has his, but I got this one for my daughter. And then my boys totally love Transformers. Uh, a couple more Halloween things. Cute little, again, I, I did mention I like the vintage cat type thing. So uh, this is a sack of 15 draw. Oh, they're drawstring. Oh, uh, I thought they were the kind where you like, you know, the seal kind, but these are drawstring treat bags and you get 15. They had this and they had uh, jack-o'-lanterns, but I'm pro cat, so I went for cats. I got bags of spooky bones. 
There's my cup of tea. I didn't know if Halloween was gonna happen this year for the kids, so I got some plates. And now kids to make it festive and to party it up in case Halloween does not happen. Uh, pretzels, I like that these are single serve. These are the six count. Um, and then I also got these because these are unsalted minis. Two reasons you might be like, well, I get salt free. Well, some people have to watch their salt, but uh, I got these because you can also make really cool pretzel snacks like with ranch, the, the ranch mix or um, cheddar, uh, all sorts of different flavors. But sometimes I find that when they're already salted and then you add salty things on top of that, that it's almost too salty. So I thought these would be good. Also for a dip, if you have a dip that's kind of salty and then you're adding salt, salted chips on top, like I find sometimes tortilla chips can be a little too salty when they're already salted and then you're dipping into something salty, it's like double salt. So uh, sometimes I like lightly salted or unsalted. So for these, I think my plan's gonna be either for dipping or, um, of course you do want salt, like if you were gonna dip into something sweet, like a sweet hummus or, you know, they have, they have chocolate hummus and things like that. But uh, for these, I think the plan is I'm gonna make some sort of savory pretzels. Uh, we, I did buy somewhere, uh, some, they were called sweet cheddar pretzels and they were really good, but theirs were salted and I think they were a little over the top salty. So uh, I'm gonna try to either redo the sweet cheddar pretzels or make some kind of ranchy type uh, dill type pretzel with my unsalted minis. And um, I did get, I don't know if you guys know, but if you frequent the Dollar Tree, you probably do know, but I got a laundry basket and two green bins um, and what else? I wanna show you, let me sit down here. I'm gonna show you my, okay, now that's all the Dollar Tree haul, but I wanna show you guys my, uh, what I got at the grocery outlet, which I was psyched about, but um, I'm sure you guys have heard of Happy Planner. They had, I hope my receipt's in here. It's probably not in here. Um, I think these were $3.99. It's a notebook with a girl cat, again, pro cat, um, with a bow. And then this one here is another notebook that says, um, hello today. And inside, it's got, of course this one's, I bought the cat one for my daughter and I bought one for me because I'm still, I'm, I act like a little kid. <laughs> I like kid type things. And oh, one more. This one's I am a happy planner. And this one's like a little shopping list. I'm trying to see if you guys can see in there. It's, uh, I didn't open it yet, my apologies. But I love like, look, rainbow, rainbow little. Adorable, but these are usually really expensive out. And they had a deal. Um, and then Grocery Outlet, they have awesome deals on cards. These were 99 cents. And um, I'm actually overdue to send it to my friend. Apologies to my friend um, that I have to send it to, but it's gold. See the little gold shimmer for 99 cents or a dollar. I think you can't beat the price. Um, and then I did get, these are in a tin, welly bravery badges. My kids go through a ton of band-aids. It's, you know, sometimes they'll They'll say, ah, oh, I'm hurt, I need a Band-Aid. And then it's two seconds later, it's like, I'm better. But they just want the Band-Aid to, you know, feel better. And then they had the, uh, these were actually more money than the notebooks. Um, the notebook, I don't know what the little one was, but I think these were $3.99, the other Happy Planner notebooks. But the stickers were $7.99. Um, but it's got 725 pieces. And these, they had a bunch of different ones. I got the color story ones, but they had quotations. They had seasons. Um, I already have the season one, but if this one's got like, oh, what a beautiful day. You got this. Happy day today can be great motivational things, which I think a lot of people right now with what's happened in this world could use, including myself. Anyway, I'm loving these stickers. Again, that's, the little kid in me, I love stationery, I always have. 
I always will. I love like paper supplies and things like that. I'm such a weirdo. Uh, but anyway, so uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm hoping that I will um, be able to do a craft soon. Right now, I might show a little bit of it. We're working on chip lapping our family room and uh, my house is in a total shambles. I have things all moved around and disheveled and um, that's kind of a little bit stressful on top of, you know, trying to homeschool here. Anyway, I'm hoping to get a craft coming up soon, and I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It really helps my channel. I appreciate everyone that has subscribed, and I appreciate everyone watching. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend.